In this video, I will be talking about the JDBC Oracle connectivity issues and solutions using Eclipse. Okay, so within your uh, JDBC example, if you are getting this import statements error, okay, so what we have to do is simply go to your package explorer okay this is that simply scroll down and find module info dot java module info okay which should be at the end end okay just open that module info and then you just have to write this one liner one liner which is requires java dot sql so once you type this and save your module info so what happens is all the java.sql packages will be actually loaded so once you save it and maybe there would be a refresh which uh, would be required then i'll show you what happens uh, i'm trying to find jre so jre and then java.sql will be loaded and then that error on your packages will be gone okay try this please now we will try to fix this class not found exception so earlier we got i got it but i have fixed it so all you have to do is go to the package explorer again and then right click on the package build path and uh, configure build path or you can add libraries here also it is there add libraries okay so you can do this add libraries so right click so build path and then add external archives i'll try this easiest way okay yeah add external archives and then e drive so you just find the path okay so this is the path which i have e drive app user product 11.2.0 db home jdbc and lib so usually this is find in your uh, oracle folder so app user product do that and select all and then click on open and obviously save refresh and then your problem will be sorted now if you don't find the after right clicking on your project name build path if somebody doesn't find these options you just have to go to configure build path and then come to libraries and select your class path and add external jars okay so once you click on external jars again you just have to navigate where your uh, ojdbc jar files are there select all open okay now i have got everything fixed here and uh, i'll just try to close all this things and uh, i just run this and i have driver loaded which means the driver part is finished there is nothing wrong with my driver driver is loaded and uh, i have uh, added all those jdbc this thing and uh, it says java.sql.sql dot SQL exception sql exception is thrown and it says listener refuse the connection with the following error okay so ora 12505 
TNS listener does not currently know of SID. So SID is the service ID. Okay. So there is a problem with this, and then we have got all these different different things. Okay. Now ORA one two five zero five means that the listener knows about the database, so it knows about Oracle. but the listener hasn't received a notification from the database that the database is up okay so if you are trying to connect to the wrong database using the wrong sid okay so then you would get a different uh, error which is ora12154 error tns could not resolve right at if okay so here uh there is a problem with tns listener so there is a very small hack here instead of xe remove that xe and type orcl i'll prefer to type it in orcl and save and run there you go so there was a problem with the listener okay a listener has refused so simple hack just do this remove your xe and put orcl that's it you get up